engine is this for? So you don't look here. What? Oh, I'm not oh okay, so the blue, so. These are brass, brass oh, inserts. Oh, that's what you, oh, and I was just seeing on the bottom here. That, that Those are the same thing. Same Bra thing brass brass inserts. inserts with the M6 okay. insert, and and uh, they're actually melted into the material when they're put in, so okay. it makes it real strong. This intake will pressure check the seven bar, so it's yeah, it's, that's it's, it's going to be pretty wild stuff. It's going to yeah. be higher than anyone can probably put out with the with the stock engine. That is really, really nice. They're going to run 50 pounds of boost in an <laughs> that block will crack way before that intake. Bro. Heads will lift off. It. Yeah, exactly. The moon. Yeah. Is so, your name, sir? I'm Joe. 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 John. Yeah. John. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yes, please. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, what, what'd you uh, call this material again? It's a nylon six. It's a yeah. it's a casting process that we do in house. Really? And, wow. Um, so it's a variation of plastic, yeah. basically. Okay. So it's but a sand mold then you make, and not a sand mold, aluminum tools. Okay. So we have we see and see cut aluminum tools and uh, and it works really well. Yeah. So this is the same process. If you're familiar with the LS market, the MSD atomic forces yep. things, we designed that whole whole line of intakes for MSD. We oh, did. And they just sell them. We manufacture them all in our place in Auburn Hills. Oh. Okay. So we do. Um, we just performance design just recently merged with a company called Managed Programs that does all those. We do 235,000 plastic manifolds a year. 
Now this obviously won't fit under uh, a stock hood. It will not fit under a stock yeah. hood, but it, it is for hot, you know trucks, hot rods. Oh yeah, rods. no, yeah, no, I understand. You know, yeah, yeah. Believe it or not, we have customers with some of our intakes that will cut holes in their carbon. Oh fiber no, I have a buddy with a, with a Holly High Ram, and, and the Holly High Ram's at yes. least as tall as that. Well, it is. This is the same height as a Holly High Ram. Oh, is it okay? Yeah. So yeah, it's really close. Cool, so. We want to stay in those characteristics to be no, able. No, I like to, the the. So it's got an O-ring on it. Yeah, so what it does is the O-ring just keeps it up into an indent, yep. and you just twist lock it out. Oh. So it's it's pretty nice. That's a really, really nice intake. So the carbon fiber is just kind of like the outer skin then, right? It's going to be a full carbon fiber lid when we're done. Oh, it right is? Right now, okay. this is just a SEMA show display piece. Yeah. So it is just the skin that's on this, but it will be a 100% carbon fiber that's lid that okay. we sell. Yeah, because it feels like 3D, 3D printed right now, is it? It's or? 3D printed. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Yep. Yeah. And, and mostly because we have some design changes, like we wanted to get it to SEMA display it, give people oh, yeah. feedback. Oh, and make the final design changes for our production. I can't see the feedback for anything but great, buddy. We've had awesome, <laughs> it, it's been great. We've had awesome yeah. feedback, and the intake's really, uh, really displaying nice. So. Well, thanks very much. I'm looking to contact you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. So, have you incorporated uh, individual throttle bodies in any of these manifolds? Any no. these intakes? In here? No. No? Not. Okay. Looks like you could if you wanted to, but. It'd be close. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We, we work pretty close with Kinsler. I don't know if you know Kinsler injection manifolds. Are they based um, out of Australia? No, that's no, K-Type. they're, they're okay. in Detroit. Detroit? Okay. Um, but they actually do, uh, they do an ITB system for the LS. Okay. So this one right here, is this meant for, this is obviously a high RPM race application then? Is that what it's meant for? Or? This is not high RPM. This, no? is more, this is more of a torque intake. Oh, really? Long runner. Long runner. Torque a bunch. Huh. So this intake's good to probably about 7,000 RPM. This intake's good to about 9,000 RPM. And same with that one's good to about 9,000. Okay. So the single pump seemed to like a, like a little bit to higher RPM speed. Yeah. Is there a benefit to having two plenums like this as opposed to just a single one? Just be able to straighten the air into the going into the chambers. Yeah. Okay. You know, rather than having pull from one common plenum, this yeah. is a um, you know pulling from from each side seems to help with, uh, with the plenum. Okay. And it's I nice. ask that because I always see like the Ferraris. Right. They always have They're the dual, dual intakes like that. And, yeah. I, so. My, yeah. my boss at Designer would probably be able to answer that question a little bit better than I can. Oh yeah. But, okay. Um, yeah. There's some weird science stuff going yeah, on. You know. I, I, I don't know. Like brain scientists and these. So yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, just the general rule of thumb, like you said, longer runners are for torque and shorter so runners are for high RPM. These intakes make a little bit less torque, but a little bit more power. This intake makes power and torque, which is fantastic. Okay. So, I mean, this on an LS7 application, just bolting this intake, I only pick up 54 horsepower. Holy shit. Stock, stock can, stock, stock intake, just bolt this on, 54 horsepower, we've seen. Unbelievable. So, it's pretty, some of the gains that you see are pretty, uh, pretty magnificent. Yeah. All right, man, hey, we'll go talking to you. Yep. This is some really nice looking yep. stuff. What uh, What do you guys do? Uh, we do machining, we do re kinds of rebuilding stuff like that, blocks, okay. cranks. Right. Should I scan your car? Are you interested yeah, in getting updates on any of this stuff? Yeah, you know? why not? Slow, I got an LS1 part of our Trans Am. It's my dream to put an LS7 in a one day. Right, yeah. mine too. I have an O2 Camaro. Oh, yeah, okay. Half body guy, just like I am. So. Yep. Yeah, grew up with that stuff, man. Hell yeah. Hey, guys. See you around. Thank you.